Hello everyone, uh, I wanted to make a follow-up video to a previous video I made about taking ayahuasca. So I made that video directly afterwards and it has now been about two and a half months since then and what loads of people have been asking me is has it had any lasting changes? So the answer is yes and uh, there are three main things that I want to talk about. The first and the biggest lesson that it showed me was about sitting with pain. It's our natural instinct, I guess, when we feel pain to want to run away from it and get away from it as quickly as possible. But during the experience of taking it, uh, I found myself in incredibly painful, emotionally painful places. And uh, actually, when I say emotional, I really do mean physical as well. I've since become so aware of how emotional and physical are kind of one and the same thing often. Uh, it's very interesting. But anyway, it uh, it took me to very, very painful places. And yet I was able to go to those places feeling completely supported. It sort of envelops you in this bubble of, of bliss and love, um, which is very hard to explain. But you go there fully to these, to these places that, you know, I was... I was in fits of tears. Uh, it was, it was very hard, and yet it was also at no point overwhelming. So this lesson has definitely stayed with me, and one of the most interesting manifestations of that. And it, this is just a silly example, but before I took ayahuasca, the most amount of press ups I've been able to do for years is 20 and that was at a push that was like on my best day when I pushed myself all the way and in my whole life the peak of my fitness when I used to go to the gym for three hours a day every day the most I ever did was uh, was 40 that was my record a couple of days after taking ayahuasca I got to 50 and um, I regularly since then for a couple of weeks after was doing 50 press-ups I got up to 54 which is an, a huge increase. That's just a massive increase. Um, I honestly don't know if the ayahuasca made me stronger or if it was that I was able just to push past a level of pain that I wasn't able to do so before taking it. I really, really do not know. But that feeling stayed with me for um, for a few weeks and I have to say it has since dissipated but I'm still doing a lot more than I was doing before, you know, probably maybe around 35 on a good day. So, so that was one thing. Another example of that was that there's a sort of stretching exercise that I used to do to stretch my lower back, um, which I would do for 30 seconds, and then it would get too uncomfortable and I would uh, stop it. Straight after taking ayahuasca, um, I did an hour and a half, and I continued to do that for uh, for a while after and in fact um, and this is going to sound really far out and it sounds how it sounds it was um, it was well the ayahuasca told me that uh, I could experience what I had experienced taking it doing this exercise and staying with it and in fact I shared it with a friend of mine who um, who doesn't will never touch anything and uh, we did it together quite a few times and he found it absolutely profound he called it uh, the lesson um, because it's a similar it's a similar thing you don't have all the uh, the colorful effects of taking a psychedelic but it's the same sort of lesson you you stay in a position and then pain comes up in various points in your body and you just be with it without judgment, without stories. You just give it 100% your full attention. I know this is what yoga is all about, but um, it's incredibly powerful. And after a while, you know, the, the pain, uh, it just subsides. It can be so excruciating. And then suddenly it's just gone. It's like it melts away. So that was a that was a wonderful uh, lesson, and at some point I will share this this exercise um, with you. Um, and actually, where this comes most useful in my life is is not so much with exercise, although that's very important. But um, 
is is with fear because fear is a pain and really this is the key to success in life if you are frightened and you are blocked and you don't act because of your fear because you don't want to face the uncomfortableness of fear you won't proceed beyond it uh, and you'll get stuck so to be able to to sit with the pain of fear and and move forward when your heart is pulling you in that direction is the most helpful uh, lesson I think I, I could have learnt. So um, although I don't have the feeling of the ayahuasca in me, and, and I did have it in me for like t 10 days to two weeks, something like that, I literally felt it in my body, uh, I have the memory of that and it's been really, really helpful. Um, the second thing is the relationship with my mum. Uh, my relationship with my mum has been super turbulent, like just horrendously turbulent. Um, she has spent most of her life being furious at me and I have also been furious at her. And uh, suffice to say, that has been a nightmare. However, since taking ayahuasca, I... I've got a different perspective on her. I, I, I just understood her so much better. I understood why she is the way she is and I found uh, a newfound level of respect and, and love for her. And since then, our relationship has just transformed. Um, I, I think it's because she must feel that I perceive her differently. She just must feel my energy towards her being different and it's like she's not fighting me anymore. She's not fighting for something that she was looking for because I'm just giving it to her and, and we're getting on great. We've never ever got on this well ever so that really is tremendous. Um, and the final thing is about the... Uh, dialogue that just sort of happens in life. Um, I spoke a lot uh, in my last video about having a very physical reaction to any dialogue that was removing me from the present, twitches in my body. Those twitches have since subsided, although they do happen occasionally still, almost as a little reminder to just be here now. Um, and I think it's really the memory of that that has, has stayed with me. There is a constant dialoguing that can happen in life that we do, you know, when, whilst we're awake, there's this constant dialogue of, of judgment, of uh, this commentary of, of judgment, basically. And, um, and I think that I've learned that that's, you know, it, it's not necessary. You don't need it at all to to do what you need to do. In fact, it blocks flow. So although I have not in any way gotten rid of the dialogue or the commentary, uh, this reminder of, of, of the ayahuasca sort of kicking me into the present has, has stayed with me and, um, and I remember it at important times and and that has been super helpful. So, um, yeah, I hope that's, uh, that's helpful to you. Thank you for listening and lots of love.